Alright, what's up guys? Jay Static here back with another video. And as y'all can tell from the title, we back here reacting. Right now we're reacting to this dude named Jay Aselovit. Jay Aset. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. But he's supposed to be doing this leg workout or something like that. But that was a joke that I took way too far and I took way too long to like stop the joke. But as y'all can tell from the title, first of all, I'm in a wife beater, yes. And I got the red do rag on because you know blood gain now. Like, don't shoot me, please. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, as you tell from time, I'm gonna be going over why legs are the most important body part, or why leg day is the most important day, right? Keep in mind, um, leg workouts will be playing in the background. If you guys want to do it, it was a great workout. My calves are still dead at this moment. Um, like I was walking up the stairs, like coming to my room to make this video, and y'all ever like use your hands to come up the stairs that was me um but yeah i'm so so tired right now like i'm sick and tired of y'all telling me i don't train legs like look i know my calves are trash but look right here at this range of motion hold on i think i got another set on here yeah look at my range of motion back up cameraman please back up please please a little bit more there, there we go. I guess that was enough. I don't know. But my range of motion is crazy good. Like, I'd be going all the way down. So, for y'all to tell me that I don't train legs, it's very disrespectful. It hurts my feelings a lot. So, I'm going to need you to stop doing that. Look, see that? Yep. Uh-huh. But, um, I train legs at least once a week. Most of the time, I do twice on Saturday. Um, so, I do it Monday and Saturday. But I always train on Monday. So, most of the time, I do it Monday and Saturday. But, um, yeah. So, I train legs so y'all can stop with all that. Okay, full workout will be in the description. But basically, the whole point of this video, right, was for me to hold on. Let me get a better angle. I look like oh, my skin look green. Oh man. Um, but basically, right, the whole point of this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys why light day is the most important day. Okay. So there are multiple reasons why I believe leg day is the most important day. One of the reasons being, if you can get yourself, okay, for me personally, Monday. Nobody really likes Mondays. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Mondays are not that bad. I don't care. But people are always like, yeah, Monday sucks or whatever like that. But um, if you can get yourself up on a Monday after work on a rainy, cold day to go train legs, you've reached another level of discipline, like a discipline that most people do not have to go after work on a cold day to go squat 315 for 12 for, for you to be fit. I just stuttered so hard for now, for you to um, feel like you can't walk or feel crippled for the next three days after because you went so hard in the gym because you're so sore. If you could do that, you reach another level of discipline, and I congratulate you. But um, that's one. That's just a basic reason. Another reason is, obviously, you don't want to be like the typical douchebag um, who only trains chest and arms, right? Because then you have, a, you have a solid upper half, right? Solid chest, solid arms. They pan the camera down. Raps, they go laugh at you. I don't know why the cameraman was shooting my calves. He was supposed to like stand back and most of y'all couldn't see how small my calves were, but um, we all just blame that on genetics, all right? Um, but yeah, what was I saying? What was I saying? Dang, I lost my whole train of thought because I was so distracted by my cat. Why is he so close to my? I don't want to put up this video no more. But uh, what topic was it? I was talking about how, um, oh yeah, you don't want to be unproportionate. You want you want to have a nice aesthetic look to you, right? You want to have a nice upper half with a nice, le with some nice legs, right? Like, no weird stuff or nothing like that. People always ask me why you don't post pictures of your legs or why you don't show your legs. In my opinion, no shade or nothing like that, but I, that just looks so weird to me. Like, seeing, I see it all down like my Instagram feed and stuff like that, like pictures of dude's legs i don't get that there's no shade nothing like that but me personally i would probably never do it like it's so hard for me to find thumbnails for these leg videos because you know it'd be a leg video it'd be titled leg video but then the thumbnail would be like this is something like that like i'm posing my upper half not my upper yeah my upper half and i don't know but that's besides the point so yeah you want to have a nice proportionate body um now on to like the real real good reasons why because um i don't know if you guys have heard this before you can look all this up on your own but it's factual information when you train legs it helps 
your body to produce growth hormones and testosterone which will ultimately help the rest of your body grow so let's let's say um, that's why I like to start off my week with legs that's why I do it on Monday because then it's helping my body to generate all these hormones and steroid like things in my body I'm kind of gassing it but it is kind of helping those hormones to come so they um, throughout the week it can help with the rest of my um, muscle growth and everything like that um, also you know, it's very very like when you get old right most older people that are like crippled in any way it's always like their lower back or their legs and their knees if you're able to have a s firm base with your legs you here you have strong functional legs Functional is a very, you can have really strong legs. You can squat 7,000 pounds, but that'll probably mess up your legs. But if you have nice, functionally strong legs, that sounded good. Functionally strong, that looks good. I'm about to copyright that patent, trademark. I don't know. If you have nice, strong, functional legs, then that'll help. Look at me dancing. Hit the melee rock. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Um, but yeah, if you have a nice, for, I said this a million times, but a nice strong, nice strong legs. The older you get, the better it is, because it'll help prevent injuries and prevent crippleness and everything like that from old age. Because your um, your legs will already be strong, so you won't have to really work. Where did it fall? But you won't really have to worry about. Well, it really, it'll help prevent injury. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna stop it there. Um, also, most of y'all should know this. Having strong legs is very vital for a lot of your compound movements let's say bench press when you're laying on the bench if you notice um, if you're trying to bench 225 and you have your feet on the ground it's a lot easier than if you would put your feet up on the bench or into the air something like that because having that strong firm base helps the rest of your body to stay tight so you can drive the weight and um, without having to like worry about you tipping over and stuff like that. So having a nice strong base with your legs pushing or driving it into the floor. That's why you see most powerlifters, the way their whole body is set up, they're pushing through their feet. Then they have like their um, back arch and everything like that, their shoulders back on the thing. But it all starts from the ground. You have a solid base, right? So um, it's really making a lot of noise. So having a strong base on all kinds of moves, even like shoulder presses, like standing shoulder presses, standing military presses. If your legs are not strong, you can injure yourself, first of all, because you're holding all that weight while standing up. Your body might not be used to it if you don't train legs like that. Um, also, if you're um, just being able to steadily hold the weight, it takes your core, of course, like when you're doing a standing military press. It You use a lot of your core to stabilize yourself, but you also have to have a firm grounding into the ground to make sure you don't lean back, lean forward, stuff like that. Here I'm just stretching because you, my friends, let me tell you this right now. You need to, if you don't stretch for any other day, make sure you stretch on leg day before and after because we don't want no injuries out here. We want to be able to walk, right? And after you train legs, your body, after you train any, um, any body part, your muscles get compound or, is that the right word, compounded? No compressed together and you want to lengthen them out by stretching stretching and that flexibility back so make sure you stretch after all your workouts right so what did I go over I went over you don't want to be unproportionate um, you get to discipline by being able to force yourself to go squat you know it's not really a reason why but it's still a reason why if you think about it also it helps this is like a main point that I vitalize I, vitalize, I utilize a lot is it really helps your body naturally create testosterone and um, growth hormones to help the rest of your body grow, help the rest of your body gain muscle and everything like that. As well as it helps prevent injuries because we do not want to be injured. If you want to be injured, go ahead, do your thing, man. But I don't want to be injured. I don't think most of y'all want to be injured. So don't let yourself get injured. And the last one that I said was what? I have no idea. What was, what was the last one? My mind just went completely blank. A. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Josiah. Oh, the video done now. Um. Y'all just gonna look at me? Y'all can stop. Y'all can exit out the video at this point. Oh, make sure you like and subscribe. Nah, don't exit out. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I was saying something else. I wasn't finished my video yet, but I'm gonna try to make an outro. Um, 
Dang. Oh, it helps with your compound movements. Well, a lot of your compound moves are right as I can't even talk as well as your regular movements, like um, I was about to say squatting, the um, benching, military presses, um, anything where you need a firm grounding for you to be able to um, do the movement correctly and most effectively, right? So that was just a short video altogether talking about why I believe Legs Day is the most important day, why you shouldn't skip it. Because if you skip it, you're missing out on those steroid like gains, you feel me? So if you train, I'm gonna say this right now, you can you can you can you can roast me if I'm wrong. If you train legs eleven times a week, it's like you're taking steroids. So basically, a lot of these people that claim they're natural. They're not natural. That didn't make no sense. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna end the video off. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications because we got bangers coming out all century long. You feel me? We never stop and we always grind and always got these videos coming out. I got a whole bunch of video ideas. It's kind of like off there. It's not. It's not like completely directly fitness related, but it's still mad entertaining. It's still like y'all be able to relate to it and stuff like that. So make sure you got the post notifications on for that, and I'm gonna see y'all out. That's it, friend.